What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing the brand new 1.1.2 infinite rare candy glitch. That's right you can update your game, you can dupe all your Pokemon now, just check out my last video. You can get Shaman, you can make shiny Pokemon, but now you can also use the infinite rare plant candy glitch which is personally my favorite of these all these glitches because this allows you to get your pokemon ready for the battle tower to get perfect ivs ready for competitive i think this is the most useful glitch out of them all so all you have to do to set this up is well you need rare candies and if you need a lot of rare candies you can just start duping your rare candies that you already have by using the cloning glitch by cloning your boxes of pokemon that are holding rare candies you'll get double the rare candies Keep doing that until you have 100. You can do this with as many rare candies as you want, but having 99 at the very least is great because that means you can get a Pokemon that you just hatched at level one to level 100 very easily. And you wanna be in front of a Pokemon Center. That's very important to do for the Fly Glitch. To start the Fly Glitch, you wanna have your Poke Tech on the top right corner of your screen. You can activate it by pressing R. And then when you wanna be on the Hidden Move screen, so when you're on the hidden move screen, you're going to be hitting R again, and then you're going to hover over fly. Now you're going to want to be hitting A and R at the same time. When you hit these two buttons together, you can open up the fly menu. You want to spam this because it does take a bunch of tries. But when you open up the fly menu, you're going to want to walk into the Pokemon Center by using the left stick and hitting up on the left stick. So we're just going to spam it, and this can take a couple of tries. We didn't get it there. That's all good. That happens sometimes. And we got it there. So you hear us going into the Pokemon Center, the door opening. So now we need to go down the escalator in the Pokemon Center. So we're going to be going up two, one, two, then to the right, all the way. And now we're down the escalator. And now we're going to hit right once on the D-pad. It's going to take us back up. And now we're going to leave the Pokemon Center. So I believe it is like five steps to the left. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go down two. One, two. And that was perfect. So you can just follow those exact instructions with the D-pad. And now we're on the fly menu. So this part of the of the process can actually uh glitch your game out, freeze it. So you gotta be very careful here. But we're gonna be doing we're actually gonna fly to the exact same city, which is Hearthrum. You can go to any city, but I think it's easy just going to the same city you're already in. And we're just gonna go to Hearthrum City. So we're going to be hitting A, and then half a second later, we're going to be hitting X. And once you do that, and if you did it correctly, we're going to get the menu glitch, and then you're going to hit A again to fly back to whatever city. And yes, you can fly back to the same city. So let's see if we can get it here on the first try. And we got it. So now you can see we got our menu up here. Right, we got our menu up, and we're moving around with the left stick. You can go into any house. We're just going to go to the house right next door to the Pokemon Center. You can't see it yourself, but you can walk around and go in. You may have to guess a little. It's not that hard, though. So now we got the second menu. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the corner. And now we're going to be using our right stick. Very important. Use our right stick here. Because if you lose the left stick, we can actually walk out of the house accidentally. And that can mess up the entire process. So use the right stick for menuing in general. So use the right stick to go to the bag. And now we're going to go to our rare candy. And we're going to use this item on a Pokemon that... It's not level 100, so we got a Spirit Tomb here, right? He's level 27. Now we're going to go all the way down, maximum to level 100. Hit X. Hit X again. And now you can hit X. Hit X. Hit R to save. Now we're going to save our game. So we actually used to rare candies, but you can see in the right, he's level 100, but he also, we still have 103 rare candies. Now we're just going to quit. Just going to quit the game real quick. And then we're going to reload the game again. And now that we did that, because we saved at that right exact moment, the rare candies were actually not used. The effects of the rare candies were applied to that Pokemon. However, they were still stuck in our inventory, which means when we load up the game, we'll actually be able to keep using those rare candies on more Pokemon. However, the only downside is... You will have to do the glitch again if you want to apply it to more than one Pokemon. You can't just do a bunch of Pokemon at once and do that. You have to save right when you apply the rare candy to the Pokemon. So now we can just actually go to our Pokemon party. And that Spirit Tune that was level 27 is now level 100. And that is how you get Pokemon to level 100 as fast as possible with infinite rare candies in Pokemon Brew and Diamond and Shining Pearl. You guys, if you like this video, 
We really appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Leave what other uh, glitches you want to see from me or any ideas you may have. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.